Yang berhormat Datuk Hajah Zuraida binti Kamarudin, Minister of Housing and Local Government. Yang berusaha Puan Hajah Rotina Muhammad Daid, Director General of the National Landscape Department. Distinguished guests, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It is my pleasure to be here with all of you at the opening ceremony of this celebration of National Landscape Day 2021 with the theme Towards the Future Landscape, Localizing Sustainable Development Goals. I only wish I could be with you in person. As landscape architects and professionals, you have a privileged position to be able to support national and international efforts to implement the Sustainable Development Goals and translate between national policies and local action. In 2015, the United Nations agreed a set of 17 Sustainable Development Goals which would set a course for global development over the next 15 years. These goals cover a wide spectrum of areas, including poverty, education, health, gender, and peace. The goals also address a number of concerns that are close to the hearts of landscape professionals, including the environment, energy, and urbanization. UN Habitat is the steward of SDG 11 and also the new urban agenda to make cities inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. SDG 11 includes targets such as safeguarding the world's cultural and natural heritage, enhance participatory planning, provide access to public space for all, reduce the environmental impact of cities, and developing resilience to disasters and climate change adaptation. SDG 11 is not only relevant for those living in cities, it affects global society as a whole. SDG 11 is directly linked to the targets and indicators of at least 11 other SDGs, and almost one-third of the total 232 SDGs indicators can be measured at the local level. Over half of the world's population today lives in urban areas. By creating sustainable cities, we create a sustainable society. So when we reduce the per capita environmental impact of those living in cities, the entire world benefits. When we provide access to basic services and housing for all, we advance towards a more inclusive society. And cities that work better lead national development as well. As the threat from climate change becomes more concrete, and the environmental impact of our cities continues to grow in line with urban populations and often unsustainable development patterns, landscape architects are well positioned to help address sustainable urbanization. As the goals and targets of the SDGs are interconnected and related, addressing these issues requires breaking out of the traditional siloed thinking. Landscape architecture with its system thinking perspective can help to integrate a range of environmental, social and urban concerns. Bringing together natural and human-made landscapes in particular can help a better understanding of the relations across systems, something we dearly need to achieve sustainability. Moreover, by addressing these issues 
through the planning and design of built area. Landscape architecture can help to translate national policies and international goals into built form and real actions on the ground in the spaces people live and enjoy every day. Many of the SDGs can only be addressed through changing practices at the local level. And landscape architecture provides a tool which achieve our common goal. At this point, let me record my thank to Yang Barhormat Datuk Hajah Zuraida Kamarudin, who is spearheading the governments of Malaysia's effort to ensure we localize the SDGs as well as the new urban agenda. UN Habitat is working with the Ministry to ensure we work with all the 153 local governments to ensure they have the tools and capacity to carry out voluntary local reviews. Through the Global Future Cities Project, which involved the cities of Malacca and Iskandar, Malaysia in Johor, UN Habitat is providing its expertise to help these important urban centers find innovative ways to adapt to future challenges and to remain competitive. In Penang, UN Habitat is working with the local government to ensure nature-based solutions are given priority as part of the wider state government's commitment to localize the SDGs. We are also keen to work closely with the Ministry to deliver affordable housing solutions. The recovery from the pandemic will require all of us joining hands. We need a national Gotong Royong effort. We need to welcome new ideas and revisit policies with courage. Let me recall the statement of the Secretary General of the United Nations, who in his global message called upon world leaders to ensure that we do not go back to business as usual. Instead, let us learn from our mistakes and our successes to lay the foundations towards more sustainable and equitable society. This is the challenge an opportunity for the landscape fraternity going forward. On National Landscape Architecture Day, I call upon you all to continue in all your work to strive towards localizing the SDGs and the new urban agenda and to work with innovative local governments, cities and communities to translate their policies and plans into action. I wish you all the best for this National Landscape Architecture Day and for a successful and enriching event. Terima kasih. Thank you.